How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to have another Blender quick tutorials in here, and uh, we are going to talk about HDRI lighting. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So HDRI lighting. So if you are very new to Blender and you don't know what is HDRI means, and basically HDRI means high dynamic range image. So where can you find these? In the past. This website is called HDR Haven, I think, but now it's there called uh, Polyhaven. But whatever, you can go to this website and then go to the asset HDRIs. Now you can see a lot of variety of HDRIs, and now you can simply just download one for your particular project. But one thing I really want to point it out is people don't really understand what is HDRI and how to use the HDRI. The HDRI is just a environment. And that, you know, a, any environment, you need to have a lighting in order to see something. If I just keep scrolling down here, there is one. It's, a, it's a kind of inside a photo studio. Um, it doesn't make any difference compared to this. It's not about their content. It's about their lighting within that environment. And also, as you can see here, usually this website, we're demonstrating with different materials. Gonna see what kind of reflections, what kind of shadow you're going to get with these. So you can pick and choose. So my advice is for HDRI image, you are not supposed to use HDRI as your primary lighting. So the, which means you're not supposed to just illuminating your scenes, only use one HDRI lighting, at least for our photorealistic product rendering, because we need to have nice control over the lighting uh, as a photographer perspective in order to getting best result out of it. So how do we, how do we use this HDRI then? And the first key point is that we're gonna use it as a temporary lighting solution. So what, what that means. So if I'm going up in here, go to the shading tab. So I creating a really simple plane and a cube. And as you can see here, my shading tabs are very clean, just one for viewport, the other one just for shading, shade editors. But a lot of times uh, I'm getting reviews from my uh, followers or students and to see their file. And very common things is people actually kind of doing all these textures and notes uh, in the under the world tab, so which is not supposed to be. So you're supposed to go to object mode to in order to texture certain items in your scene. Doesn't matter how many windows you have under your shading tab, making sure you're on your left hand corner over here, making sure if you selecting the uh, shading, shader editors and then making sure you select the world when you actually trying to model or texture a HDRI image in your scene. Okay, this is very simple steps. So next, what you're gonna do here, you see there is a background, there are colors, you can change the color or you can just change the illumination on there. The reason you won't see any difference because this is still under the solid mode. So if we go to the Render view. So basically, these two are very similar. So this one is basically is the EV render. So you can see there already have a HDRI image in here by default. The reason you don't see this is HDRI because the background has been blurred. So if we can just kind of getting the blur out of it, you'll know. Oh, so we are in the HDRI environment, just like what we're seeing on the website. Uh, but the, the reason on here, this is rendered by EV engine. So if we go here, oh, this tab, this is supposed to render through cycle engine, which is the one that we want to use for our product rendering. So this is something that we be a pay attention on that. And then what we need to do here, I, I just go making sure I click that and then come back to the world, you know, world. Uh, then I'm going to select the background and hit the control T and suddenly I have a couple of notes come generating in here. And if you don't know why the things come out, uh, making sure you enable node regular add-on, which is a default add-on uh, Blender come with, but you need to enable that, okay? You, have, you will find how to do that. And then next, what you're gonna do, you see there is an environment texture making sure you're using this node because sometimes if you're not using the this type of add-on and you're just thinking, oh, I need adding an image, right? Shift A to adding an image and you find a, uh, a image texture and then plug in. That doesn't work. This is supposed to be environment texture. Okay. It is small things, but I want to clear it out for you all, okay, for beginners. So now you select this, you see that now the environment looks very 
crazy pinkish. That means Blender needing a textures in order to make this thing work. This is a warning sign. Okay, so what we do need to do, we can need open, and then just find your actual HDRI image. So as you can see here, I already have a HDRI image folder built. That some HDR image that I use over the years, and then I just put them all together in the folder. So, so simply this time, I just gonna click the this one, uh, and you already seen this HDR I've been used in my previous videos, which is talking about how to set up a HDR lighting as a start up file. So you can certainly check that out. And so I just gonna select this. And now you will see everything, this environment. Now you're inside this environment. It's a dirty bathroom, I think. It was not super dirty, but you see what I'm saying? And this is just inside of bathroom now. And the lighting go to the go to see the lighting quality is quite nice because very soft and also have a kind of like a direction. And that's simply because that from the, the, the lighting is from that top window right here. And then the rest of the areas it's kind of like a little bit warm tone, white-ish. So it's actually going to generating pretty nice fill light for that. So this is really nice to have. And that's why you will see this for uh, the environment. Or sometimes you don't want to see the content in the background in the environment. You can just go to this camera icon, which is render property. And you go here under the film, you can just check this transparent. Then you wouldn't see anything and you only see the lighting. It's pretty nice, right? And then we go back to the point why we need to use HDRI as a temporary lighting solutions. You know, all these objects and uh, all these cubes and everything it haven't textured yet. We're only adding texture for the world. So we needed to go back to here to switch to object. Then we can add in or doing texture for this. And we can just simply add in one. And then to do a color change or whatever, you can see we can texture in that. Why I'm saying this is a temporary lighting solutions because our HDRI lighting have a pretty strong color cast. So that's something that we we need to pay attention because for product rendering or for for certain uh, items that you want to making sure that your color is very accurate and neutral. So that would be much photorealistic when you kind of creating some uh, nice looking catalog image for your product render, okay? And also the HDRI lighting have strong directions, so you don't really want to just set the lighting by default when you load it in. You need to have some certain control. And if you're saying, well, I just love this lighting quality, I don't mind this color, how can I do uh, anything for control the the direction you certainly can. You can just kind of do a rotation, so kind of changing the your HDRI image by doing all these or location, whatever. You can see this is changing the direction a little bit. So you can do that, but that's very difficult to manipulating, and it's it's just kind of like uh, like flip a coin and hopefully you get a really nice lighting uh, through that. So that's why I'm I'm highly recommend you guys doing HDRI just temporary. And then what you need to do next, once you get your object, everything kind of like settled down, feels like a uh, similar maybe. And then what we need to do, we're gonna go back to the, op uh, the world just unhook this thing and it's completely in dark and then you can add in a light or whatever kind of light you want you can scale it up and uh, just dragging them in here and adding a light properly so you can do just say 5000 to start with so you will see some uh, details in here maybe we're gonna need a little bit more because this is a much bigger thing. Okay, you will see that still remain that kind of grayish. Then you can finalize your lighting. You can you can do any complicated lighting. Do that and then start tweaking that that way. Because in that in this workflow, for much better and accurate color result for your final render. Okay, so that is one. That's the key point number one. Here we come to the lighting tip number two. Only use it as a fill light or ambient light. Let me grab a file that I created for one of my clients' job. As you can see here, this is a cosmetic product with some environment in here, and looks like this being shot inside of like a 
a forest of wood and then you certainly can see that there's some kind of greenish color cast within there as you can see here this is my world uh, tab where I'm using a HDRI image as a environment fill and the one I use in here is as the one I'm actually can I can I can just reload it in this is the HDRI image I use the one right here as it's called some green secretary so this is kind of like inside a, a forest and then I load this in I certainly change the strength to the 0.5 because I really don't want to have the full power for this one and and also you will see here we have uh, quite a bit of lighting in here going on uh, uh, quite a bit of light uh, so that's not really just simple uh, uh, HDRI loaded in you will see there's a lot, quite a bit of lights in here so it's this one just feels like over a little a, li a little bit but I'm trying to getting everything I want uh, closer to the final result so as you can see here there's quite a bit of lights going on here okay so anyway so but this is kind of a perfect example that uh, how to use the HDRI as a simple fill because without it you can see here without this it, the scene looks a little bit darker uh, less contrast compared to what we have done here but if I bump up all the lights I have it looks very artificial it doesn't give you the vibe of uh, of the uh, environment but having this kind of conk in is gonna casting some very nice greenish color light although you can change any color for all these to a greenish light but a lot of time you won't have that accuracy that natural look from the a, a very uh, uniform the shape of lighting in here so that's kind of like the benefit of using HDRI it can creating a can bring in an environment that you probably never going to be there and it's impossible to produce but now you can do it inside blender or any other 3d software you can do so for for pay attention on this for this this type of way, um, way I use HDRI is because I'm I really want to creating a atmosphere for the ambient. In the same time, this HDRI image have a pretty strong color cast. That greenish color cast it works very well with the theme. So you don't really want to have this type of light to apply to other scenes without thinking about it you think well it works very well in this scene and well it must be great in the other one probably not another thing we can do here we can adding a, a hue and set note shift a and hit the hue and saturation click here and then we can just kind of plug in here and we can dial all these saturation go to zero so that's a kind of black and white hdri environment come out but if you pay attention notice uh, if I want to dial this thing down and everything, the, the tone looks a little bit too warm compared to what, what we used to have. So you can see that that actually has an effect on the mood of what we're trying to accomplish. So I'm thinking just do, do one, and uh, this is what we are default HDRI colors gave it to us. So as you can see here, it's certainly adding something. Uh, to the scenes and you should consider use that and still lighting this product using your knowledge and uh, Making sure you're getting the best result you want. Okay, so good. So let's go to the number four already because we already covered the uh, Black and white HDRI. So let's go to the number four. So to use HDRI as a background or backdrop uh, hopefully you have done this before but I'm gonna show you one, another uh, file that I have done right here I'm just grabbing here real quick so you can see here this is a very simple scene and very simple props and the background looks pretty nice right it's kind of like an ocean view and also kind of sunset warm tone and this works very well for the the products for the overall feeling it's very feeling very soft and uh, you know this type of thing so actually the background is not a, uh, a, a image plane it's actually a hdri if i'm kind of come out you can see that's the scene we're using this is the hdri image we're having now here and i'm just using this as a background so how do you, how to manipulate and getting all these done so you can see here i do have a i can just hit m to mute this 
and we have built in the scene for sure and here and we have external lighting for sure so as you can see here that's quite a bit of lights over here and you can see we have quite a bit of lights going on here all right to lighting the scene if i'm close that you won't see nothing okay so that's the primary lighting for the hdri is simply using the background in this way so what i have done here i'm just loaded in a, a sky hdri image right and then the next another thing i did is i'm using some kind of like rotation on the z-axis just turning this entire environment so that's you can positioning the exactly background that you want you can just do that if i'm right now it's 255 so if i rotate it a little bit more you see the world's going to come with you if i'm rotating to this degree if i go to the zero on the camera view you will see a different view over here right it's not that we want but it certainly did uh, see some content in here so if i type back to 255 and then you will see the beautiful backgrounds we have so obviously you don't need to go to the environment like that on the beach at that time to bring all these resources to taking pictures and you want to have beautiful backdrop but you can certainly get it done using a hdri as your background okay so of course you can use h uh, hue and saturations to changing everything but for the colors and you can uh, even just making the background a little bit more saturated you can do that you see but but definitely you can you needed to to really do a good job to control what you want to do and also you can switch the hue uh, of the background see that's kind of like uh, blue color ish but you can do quite a bit of things with hdri so and this is the number four we get it already done here and the very last is the use as a reflection so what that means so let me grab another file in here so basically this is a product i have done for one of my clients it's a cosmetic uh, mask and basically it's everything here is going to be illuminating with light so your your skin is going to be treated in that way anyhow but this is the product we want to do and you can see here under the world tab i use hgri image to getting some reflections on the top of it okay so you can see here we can we will have some key light in here it's not really easy to control so we can certainly just close one or two as a key light and if i'm unhook this hdri you will see the key light is looking like this we can do something about it but i feel like this texture is not really uh, presenting in the best way it can and because the texture is more like the transparent the glass or plastic is really reflective well when you dealing with this type of materials uh, it doesn't look like other uh, examples i already made they are kind of matte ish for this type of materials the hdr environment is very important because it's reflecting a lot of content to uh, onto their surface so if i'm hooking this hdri into there you will see there additional light is being added on and also some reflections from the environment is going to be added and if you open up the image you can do a different you know places you see i'm just going to use this one the the green one you see how it goes if i put it in yes i'm telling you it looks terrible because it's reflecting all the leaves and green in the forest it doesn't work very well compared to the one we we have so you can certainly kind of utilize in this pay attention to to get in the result you want you see this one is a little bit too flat it doesn't give you that contrasty and for these uh, hdri i believe you can either find your way but i kind of purchased that from a jewelry uh, website that selling you hdri image on there so that's just for a contrast so basically sometimes you can even make this in yourself in the in the photoshop just a black uh, environment but with some white highlight area so if i click this you're going to bring more high contrast uh, reflections on there and there's tons of websites to sell in this kind of like a special hdri image but if i were you if you don't want to invest all these please invest yourself to making sure you understanding 
all these concepts and how to use this before you're putting a lot of time and money to purchase all of these to, to testing these and feel frustrated but that's just part of a learning process uh, but I also I wanted to know to invest in yourself your understanding is more valuable than just simply buy some quick solutions because eventually you want to be the artist to providing solutions you need to understand what you're doing okay so we can just randomly select everything in here and then this one have pretty good uh, catch light on the background so um, it's very easy for 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 lighting so i'm just using one single light and getting a hdri image to give me some reflections to show off this texture okay so that is conclude everything we want to cover in this short tutorials hopefully it's short enough and uh, thank you for watching if you really like this type of content please hit likes and uh, comments below and to tell me what kind of topic do you want me to cover and please consider subscribe my channel uh, all my contents is primarily talking about photorealistic product rendering because I was coming from a photographer background hopefully this type of lighting content is really gonna help you to bump up your render qualities in product rendering okay thank you so much I will see you in the next video bye